Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm here at SMT Nuremberg 2014. I'm joined by Luca Corley from Seca. Luca, good to see you again. Good to see you, Phil. How are you? How's the market and how's Seca doing here, particularly in, in Germany at the moment? Seca is doing okay. Uh, we are, uh, as usual, uh, attending this show because we feel uh, is uh, very important for us to take care to this part of Europe. You know, this show is uh, good for Germans, but also for some customers coming from Eastern Europe. Mm. And uh, as usual, we have some Italians coming because okay. the Italians are traveling yep. a lot. So we are here to promote our solutions for Flying Pro, for functional yep. tests, for ICT. And uh, we have some, some good, good stuff yeah. to show. And uh, we, people seem to be doing more and more, more and more ICT, more and more going on in that area. Is that something you're seeing more in Germany or just as much in Eastern Europe? Or? ICT market is really changing and uh, let me say is downsizing. I right. mean, the size of the tester is uh -huh. getting smaller. Right. Customers are demanding something cheap and small to test small products. Right. Okay. It's an interesting idea that we are following with a new product called Mini 80, okay. which is a, a very small tester, the size of a DVD player, basically. Wow. Okay, and is it is benchtop? It's benchtop, is portable, okay. driven by a laptop. Yeah. So it's very compact, very portable, and it's very good for engineering side, so right. designers can play with the tester yeah. when they are in the design phase, yeah. and then they can deploy in production okay. the same unit. Okay, so you can use it in the lab, and then you can put it out. Exactly. Put it out in that environment. How long has that product been out? Uh, about six months now. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we have already, market? yeah, we have already a few installations in Italy, okay. and the good news is that we have been able to sell in China. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah I mean, those kind of out of out of the box, simple solutions seem to play very well there. The other thing that's really important to them is ease of use. Is yes. that something that you've considered there in terms of how? Absolutely. When we talk about ICT, you know test program generation yeah. must be just push the button and, yeah. and do. So we have an, a, an a ATG uh, automatic test generation in uh -huh. the software and uh, very important it's an ICT machine yeah. but like all other Seca testers you can also do a little bit of functional test. Okay. So we have a graphical software where basically with four clicks of the mouse you can do a measurement or you can okay. inject a signal. Okay. So it's very very easy, very easy of use for yeah. customers. Okay, and you're seeing you're seeing people in China buy those yes. in in volume for a particular facility, or will they initially start with one in the lab and then the, and then the first more? the first sale was for two units, yeah. one for engineering and one for for production. But of course, the forecast is to multiply the units mm. in in production. Yeah. And the added value of this product compared to local similar products was the ability to do both in circuit and functional, not oh, just okay. MDA. Yeah. Yeah, so power up the board as well. Yeah. Okay. And the flying probe market. How's that? How's that shaping up at the moment? Um, with flying probe, uh, we have uh, here at the show our pilot V8, which is uh, of course uh, our uh, best machine. Uh, vertical side. We we talk about mm. already in the past. Uh, yeah. uh, double side machine. Yeah. Vertical orientation. And we have more and more demand uh, to integrate uh, new features like LED mm. uh, check. So we have a new. Uh, mobile probe to test uh, LEDs. Mm -hmm. Boundary scan is getting more and more popular yeah. and uh, onboard programming. Okay. So the, the ability to program digital devices yeah. uh, during ICT, right after ICT and before functional yeah. tests. Okay. And it's that mixture of ICT, functional tests, boundary scan, everything, don't they? Yes. Hybrid kind of um, solutions. As you know, it's like a platform of yeah. different testers combined yeah. in only one box. Yeah. With automation as well. Yeah, that makes sense. And last question, nothing to do with Seca. The Italian market, Italy is one of the countries that has had perhaps a tougher time during the downturn than most. How's manufacturing doing there? Is it starting to come back? It's getting better. Yeah. It's getting better. Uh, Last year, in, uh, during Prodotronica, we had a very good signal mm. of people being more motivated uh, right. to do business. Yeah. And uh, I think in the first quarter of uh, 2014, we had the confirmation of this. Yeah. We have also small subcontractors restarting uh, to invest or to look to a new mm. investment. Uh, I think it's getting better. Yeah, and so. it's really 
something psychological, yeah. I think, you know, because yeah, if you turn on the TV and of course you heard it's about just, politics yeah. and all the stuff, yeah. and also on that side now a little is a little bit changed, yeah, so people are more motivated, more positive thinking. Yeah, yeah, and that's exactly what it needs. It just needs to get some yeah. momentum back in the market. Make some decisions. We're getting some worse orders. in football and soccer, but we're getting better maybe in the industry. I don't know, I reckon you might be a dark horse <laughs> for the World Cup, so yeah. we shall see on we'll that. We'll see. One. Luca, thanks for stopping by. Thanks, Phil. Good luck with the rest of the show and good luck with the World Cup. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.